ski touring is becoming more and more popular with each passing winter and with good reason. It doesn't have to be extreme, it's all about getting away from the crowds and enjoying the mountains at their best with some good friends. Here we're going to show you a bit of the setup that you can use to go touring for your first time. Don't be intimidated, you don't need to have everything you're seeing here, just an idea to get you started. Here Matt's showing you frame bindings, they look fairly similar to your regular ski bindings, and they do have some pros over the alternative. They cost less, you can use your regular ski boots with them, and they are arguably better on the downhill as well. Cons on frame bindings are they're a bit heavier than the alternative, the pivot point isn't quite as good, and as you can see here the transition between tour and ski mode has to be made with your foot outside the bindings. Tech bindings, also known as pin bindings, are newer onto the scene, and they are, as the name suggests, a lot more technical. The pros with tech bindings is they're a lot lighter, they've got a much better pivot point, you can make the transition between a tour mode and ski mode without taking your foot out, and the boots you'll use with them do have a special walk mode which will make it easier to go uphill. The cons with pin bindings is that they'll cost you more money, they will require special boots which will also cost you more money, they're maybe not quite as good on the way down, and they can be a little bit harder to get into, although with a bit of practice I'm sure you'll be fine. All in all, if you plan on spending a lot of time touring, pin bindings are probably the way to go. If you're a casual tourer, frame bindings will definitely get you by. Skins are probably the most important part of your kit as they are what allows you to go uphill. You'll stick these to the bottom of your skis and they've got tiny directional fibers that allow you to ascend on snowy terrain. The fibers lay flat in one direction and stick up in the other, much like a couch I'm sure your granny had when you were growing up. We won't go too in-depth into Avalanche Kit as that's a video in and of itself, but you do need to know that you need to have all this gear on you every time you go off-piste. You also need to know how to use it. Headwear is also important when you're going touring. You really want to keep thermoregulation in the forefront of your mind. You don't want to be too hot or too cold, so a beanie, a convertible head slash neckband, and a cap are all good ideas to bring with you. Keeping with the theme of thermoregulation, layering is important so you can take on or add layers as need be when you're going up the hill. Now technical fabrics that wick away sweat should be used, cotton should be avoided, and you can always add an insulated mid-layer to this setup for those really cold days. Bringing two sets of gloves with you is a good idea. A light set of thin gloves will help you when you're putting your skins up and keep your hands from sweating on the walk up. Your heavy gloves will then be sweat free and warm for you to wear on the way down. Bringing goggles as well as sunnies is a good idea. You wear the sunnies on the way up, the goggles on the way down, that way you'll keep from going snow blind and your goggles will be nice and unfogged. Now touring can be thirsty and hungry work, so make sure that you bring enough water with you. You might need more than you expect to keep from dehydrating, and it's always nice to have yourself a little treat at the top of your walk. Tip number one is to keep your skins nice and dry. Do this by making sure that there's no snow left on the ski every time you put your skins on, and take them out of the bag to hang up and dry at the end of the day to make sure that they don't go moldy. Tip number two is layering. Make sure that you wear multiple breathable layers, and keep in mind that it's better to be a little bit cold on the way up than sweat too much and then have that sweat freeze on you when you're on the way down. Also popular when touring are trousers with side zips so that your legs can breathe as well. Keeping water at hand is always a good idea, but bladder and hose systems tend to freeze on colder days, we find that a cheap, easy solution is to attach a water bottle to the front strap of your backpack with a carabiner. Our final tip is to enjoy yourself. After all, what's the point if you're not having fun?